You are welcome to lesson two of our creative and technology studies that is expressive arts. The first lesson we looked at the drawing aspect. We are going to continue from where we ended. And today I'll start with the the common format in the drawing that is used when. Uh, an artist is about to start their drawing, the first thing they are going to look at is how the drawing is going to stand. Uh, if, for example, you are told to draw of a village scene, your drawing is going to be in a format which we call landscape. A landscape format is whereby the drawing uh, goes, the length is a bit further than the width. For example, in a landscape, the drawing should get its shape. If this was a plain paper, you put it like this on your desk to draw a landscape picture. For example, somebody was told to draw a village scene. You visualize, think of how a village scene is. Last time we looked at a imaginative drawing. You are imagining, thinking of a scene in the village. The common things that can be seen in a village. So I'll start my drawing like this. That is the village scene. I'll put the common... Zambian hearts in a village situation. It's a big village. It's a big village. I'm thinking of time. It's 12 hours, midday in this place. They have like a stream somewhere down there. Then I'm thinking of a, a tree there. Then Maybe I think of oh, small, small, the chicken there, the chicken there. Somebody who is seeing my picture should have an idea to say this place is in the village. I'm thinking of a well where People who go, I'll just draw stick men, stick men going to draw water at the well. That is giving me an idea of a landscape picture. In art, to make your art drawing look nice, always put a nice borderline. And if possible, just put a pattern on your borderline. That is my drawing showing the landscape picture. If you are given a plain paper and then your plain paper, you are told to draw something like the face of a person. You can't draw it on a landscape. The face of a person, you can use another format that is called portrait. The portrait. Pictures. We have seen portrait pictures in the offices for the president. Those are portrait pictures. And these are in this format, the opposite of landscape. Okay? So, you are told to draw a passport photo of yourself. So, you can draw that. This one cannot be done on a landscape and then the photo also cannot be done on landscape and the village scene cannot be done on a portrait this is my rough picture of my 
itself. You look at the many features that are visible on the face and those are supposed to appear. You don't draw the whole picture of a person, but you look at the many features that can make that person's face. After you look at that, So the two are there, the landscape and the portrait pictures. These depict of the artistic skills that we can use before we do the drawing. You have to tell, to say which one, am I doing the landscape? Am I doing the portrait? They need to help us in our drawings. The other uh, thing I want us to look at today are what are called the monochromatic. We have what is called monochromatic. Monochromatic. This is when a, a picture uses many shades of the same color. When a picture uses the same shades of the same color. For example, uh, we have this and here we have one color making different shades. This color, in a monochromatic color, there are two colors that are usually added. And these colors are white and black. When you add white to a color, you are making a tint. When you add white to a color, you are making a tint because you want to make it more lighter. It can be black, you add white, it means you are making a tint, you, make, you want to make it more lighter. Sometimes you can add black to a color, it means you are making a shade, you want to make it more darker. So, there is a person who discovered these monochromatic colors. This person... Um, had to find out that uh, one color can be made in different shades. For example, you can have a blue color, then you get white, you add to blue. You make different shades out of the same color. You are not making different colors. It's the same blue, but it will have different shades. So, on this one, to my right side, this box, I will make it more dark the original black. But as it goes this side, this black will change. It will become lighter. The shades are changing. The shades are changing until the last one will look almost like white. But the, they are changing. The way they are supposed to look is dark change until they look light. This is what is meant by monochromatic. And the person who discovered these colors, the monochromatic colors, is a man, an Italian man called Mr. Pablo Picasso. Mr. Pablo Picasso is the man who made an experiment and found out that we have colors that are called monochromatic. And we know that the meaning of the word mono means one. One color into different shades. So this man 
Mr. Pablo Picasso discovered these monochromatic colors. Uh, he drew a picture of himself, a portrait picture of himself, using two different colors. He used blue and then he used brown. The picture looked uh, with different shades. For example, if you are drawing a face of a person, usually some areas like here, they will look a little bit uh, dark because they are inside. But other places like these, which are outside these, they will be a little bit lighter. You look at the areas which are inside, and the, the inside areas, and the outside areas, they will have a different monochromatic, a different shape. That is what this man, Mr. Pablo Picasso, discovered. Uh, the other type of cars, apart from the monochromatic colors, we have colors that are complementary. We have the complementary colors. These complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. We have what is called the color wheel. Those of us who remember, we did this in grade six. We have a color wheel that has different colors and on this color wheel we have so many colors for example here we have the color red and the color that is complementary to the color red that is the opposite color on the color wheel to color red is green so you find that all the colors on the color wheel, they are different colors. They are different colors. So many colors on the color wheel. You find that uh, this color red is a primary color. Is a primary color. While the color green is the complementary color. Complementary color. That is about uh, complementary colors and these colors they make a very beautiful pattern if you complete the whole color wheel you see the colors make a very beautiful pattern our lesson will end here but i'll give you some activity to do i want you to choose either to draw a village scene That is one, or you choose one, or to draw a village scene, or you can draw a face of a person, a portrait, a portrait, and show the monochromatic colors, monochromatic colors. A portrait and show the monochromatic colors. A village scene that is to show the activities that happens in a village. That is the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed looking at the drawings and the colors. Thank you very much.